evening of. This is the first impression of Jermaine's Royal Jersey Perique. This is a sample, a 25 gram sampler, which I bought uh, <coughs> a few weeks back. And I'm um, trying it this evening for the first time. Just give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, this is a, a quite a thin ribbon cut. Um, reminds me of Esoterical Brighton in terms of its presentation. And the darker part is like that. Is uh, Perique. So there's a lot of bright sort of lemon Virginias, really bright Virginias in there. Um, there's some darker ones as well, some mid-brown ones, but there's quite a bit of bright Virginia in there. Um, and it's got a good amount of moisture. It's really not too moist and it's not too dry. Um, I have had it in the drawer for a few weeks, but um, it's, it's pretty much ready to smoke. Um, I've almost finished a bowl that I've uh, been smoking and I've been smoking it in the Quebec, Northern Brides Quebec. Lovely pipe, it's a pipe I can rely on and we're almost done. Um, now I've been smoking a lot of um, vapors, Virginia Periques, um, in the past few months. Um, so I've been quite spoiled with some really excellent um, vapors. Um, amongst them, Dunhill Navy Rolls, uh, recently GQ's um, Asquith Blend, um, the first responders from GLPs. It's quite a smooth one actually, there's not really much of a kick to it, but so many different ones. Um, and I've been smoking a lot of Virginias as well, Virginias with uh, Kentucky, which different kind of spiciness to it but spiciness nonetheless um, I would say out of all the, the vapors that I've had recently the Asquith blend from G&Q is probably the punchiest um, but it did take a few months to get to that stage after mixing it so I wanted to try this one um, and I have to say that were it not that I've had all of these different types of vapors um, I would have probably said that this is an excellent vapor I'm not saying it's a bad vapor um, and it could be that it needs time in the jar to smooth off but um, anyway let's let's get to the flavors so you get a quite a grassy bright Virginia flavor straight away and you get a fruity sweetness, um, a perique fruity sweetness, a little bit of a peppery spice in there as well. Um, but it's really, for me, it's really quite monotonous. Um, so it's it's a bright Virginia with a little bit of that spiciness, but it's there's nothing special. There's nothing there which is really lifting this blend. Um, and in fact, it's got quite a harsh edge to it. Now it could be that, as I say, it needs that time in the in a jar. Um, so it could be that I'll revisit this in the future and see how it is. Um, but for me, it's 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 almost like there's um, Kentucky in there or something like that, which is causing it to be a little bit more um, on the um, harsher edge of spiciness, rather than a sweet spice, but more of a savoury spice with a little bit of a bite to it. Um, and I don't mean tongue bite, but um, so for me, it, it's it's coming across as a little bit uh, harsh. Well, I think I'm at the end of it because I'm struggling to keep it alive. Oh, there was a bit in there, but it's out now. Um, it's not a bad blend. I don't want to give the impression that it's a bad blend. Um, it's a vapour, um, 
but for me it's it's as I say it's it's a little bit harsh a little bit rough around the edges is a good way to describe it um, that's really all I have to say um, it, it's 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 a very straight laced vapor um, you know with some Virginia Preaks you get a really deep fruity stewed fruit or figs that kind of thing this one is a very very straight Virginia there's um, you know you don't get the, the Virginias are probably not aged very much so you don't get any depth in the Virginias it's a really quite a bright Virginia um, visually and in the taste um, and the Perique brings some spicy sweetness to it but it, it does have that harsh edge so that's uh, my first impressions of Jermaine's Perique, uh, Royal Jersey Perique. Um, I'll probably have to revisit this, as I say, um, after this has had some time in the jar. But I I'm not a big fan of this cut um, from Jermaine's. Um, it actually burnt through quite fast, as you might expect, given uh, the cut. Um, but um, there it is. So that's my first impression. It's not much of an impression. <laughs> Alright, thanks very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.